morning students today in our class we are going to discuss about uh, chapter number 6 our topic is heart so students already in this chapter we have discussed about the circulatory system in which uh, the various fluid like uh, in our body are circulated all over the body with the help of blood vessels so we have discussed about the blood about the blood vessels about the blood groups now uh, today we are going to discuss about the heart heart is the pumping organ of body which pumps the blood and from where it pumps it pumps the blood from uh, lungs to different parts of the body and back from different parts of the body to the lungs so in this way it helps in circulating the body fluid uh, in our body by pumping system so now always remember that heart neither purify nor filter the blood it only helps in pumping from lungs to different parts of the body and from different parts of the body to the lungs so here heart is basically a structure which is present in now first we will discuss the location of heart it is present in center of thoracic cavity so students it is mainly present in the center of thoracic cavity it is also said that heart is present in the center but it is little bit shifted towards the left side and due to this shifting the size of left lung is quite smaller than the size of right lung but this is not in triangular shape it is a kind of oval shaped structure which is present in center of thoracic cavity so when it is also surrounded by the presence of sternum bone which help in protecting the heart from external uh, germs the size of heart is the clinch fist it means that it is the size of your heart that you take your left hand put your thumb inside and cover it with the four finger this is the size of your heart this is the size of anybody's heart so as the baby is smaller the size is also the heart size is also smaller and the baby is growing and growing the size is also growing that's why it is said that in adult the size is bigger as the smaller one and the it is also said to be that the size of heart is bigger than the size of heart of female in male what happened the muscular structure this structure is quite bigger than girls but than female that is why uh, the boys are having the big heart because of this muscular structure because of this size now weight this is generally about 250 g to 300 g in a adult uh, human body strength this heart is mainly consist of four chambers so the chambers present in heart is two auricles and two ventricles uh, means uh, um, we have to one left auricle and one right auricle as well we have one right ventricle and one left ventricle these are the chamber where the blood goes and then passes to other body parts now let's see on the basis of chamber how can we see that there are different uh no, organisms have how many chambers in their body so when there are two chambers present in fishes or pisces they have one auricle and one ventricle inside them now let's see amphibians those who are living on land as well as water they have three chambered heart means two auricles and one ventricle the right auricle left auricle and left ventricle whereas in reptiles uh, except crocodile they are having three and a half chambers three and a half chamber means that one or uh, two auricles and one and a half ventricle it means to be 
one left auricle one left ventricle one right auricle and partially half developed right ventricle it is not fully developed so it is considered to be three and a half uh, chambers present in reptiles heart but in crocodile except crocodile which are having four chamber heart this is the exception now four chamber heart like two auricles and two ventricles are then found in apes means that all the birds and mammals those who are feeding their babies so in this way on the basis of chambers of heart the organism can be classified now let's uh, discuss about the structure of human heart yes sister now let's see the structure of human heart as the human heart is not a uh, proper triangular it is circular in shape and slightly shifted towards the left side you can see here because of this it gives it as a little uh, triangular shape but it is oval here and this triangular shape is due to the shifting of heart uh, to the left hand side strength because of it as it is present in thoracic cavity we have discussed recently but um, due to it shifting towards the left side the lungs of left side is also quite smaller than right side lungs now let's see this is structure a is made up of two layer one this is this layer is called as pericardium double membranous structure this pericardium helps in protection from the jerk and inside this is made up of cardiac muscles the fluid fill in the uh, structure is called as pericardial fluid this fluid helps in protecting again the heart from external jerk now this is the wall which divide the heart into two equal half what are these half left hand side and right hand side so this wall is called as septum when this uh, septum is dividing the auricles it is called as intraauricular septum when it is divided into the ventricles chamber it is called as intraventricular septum now here the heart is mainly have four chambers left auricle left ventricle right auricle and right ventricle means that two auricles and two ventricles in auricle the bloods are coming by the pulmonary vein from lungs which bring the oxygenated blood then this left auricle give this blood back to the uh, give this uh, blood to the left ventricle and the uh, back flow should not be there from left ventricle to left auricle the blood comes here is protected by a wall this wall is called as bicuspid wall made up of two walls are present here so it is called as bicuspid wall it protect the back flow of blood from left ventricle to left auricle the same one three walls are present in the right side this is called as tricuspid wall again the same function this tricuspid wall is protecting the back flow of blood from right ventricle to right auricle later the blood is taken by the pulmonary artery to the lungs for purification strengths after left ventricle when the blood comes to left ventricle it goes to different parts of the body by the help of aorta which is called to be the biggest artery and the same way the biggest vein vena cava bring all the impure blood from superior body part and inferior body part to the right auricles and then right auricle give it to right ventricle right ventricle give it to the pulmonary artery for uh, purification so we can see here these are have i have these uh, heart muscles have auto excitation property because of which human heart is also called as myogenic heart so they are made up of very strongest muscle this is called as purkinje fibers